Thank you, John, and a very good afternoon to you, wherever and however you're listening to TalkSport 2. This is Villa Park, packed to the rafters, as usual, and they've been brilliant at home until recently, Aston Villa, but a chance to consolidate fourth place in the Premier League table this afternoon with Tottenham not playing this weekend in the league. But in order to do that, they've got to arrest that rather curious run of three defeats here in all competitions against Newcastle and Manchester United in the Premier League and sandwiched in between that and FA Cup exit at home to Chelsea. But fourth place is still theirs. It's their second best points return at this stage of a Premier League season. But they're up against the Nottingham Forest side. We've got that important win last time out against West Ham United. It's only their second away win of the season that they got with the wins they got at Chelsea and Newcastle on Boxing Day so their away form needs to improve but Nuno Espirito Santo side have scored in each of the eight games played since he took charge of the Tricky Trees Unai Emery names an unchanged Aston Villa side this afternoon there are a huge number of absentees on the bench for Villa at the moment. Camera, Carlos, Buendia, Consa, Mings and Hawes. That's four centre-backs alone. But Emiliano Martinez is still there in goal. Former Forest fullback Matty Cash, Clement Longley, Pau Torres and Alex Moreno make up the back four for Villa. John McGinn and Douglas Louise holding in midfield. With Leon Bailey, Yuri Tielemans and Jacob Ramsey in behind Ollie Watkins in attack. For Forest. One change from that win against West Ham and a change of system. They move from 4-2-3-1 to 3-4-3 to it seems as Musa Niakate comes in as an extra central defender. It's a bit of a jig about in front of him. Matt Sells is the goalkeeper. Felipe, Murillo and Musa Niakate the back three. Then Callum Hudson-Odoi, Danilo, Nicola Dominguez and Nico Williams across midfield from right to left. Anthony Alanga and Morgan Gibbs-White in support of Taiwo of one year up front who's not the top scorer this season that's Chris Wood with eight in the Premier League but he's still out injured on the benches for Villa two keepers Gauchi and Olsen along with Dina Chambers Diaby Zaniolo Rogers Hayden and Eropinum Forest bench Turner is their sub keeper along with Kuyate Topolo Reina Yates Origi Montiel Omabamidele and Ribeiro and Villa are being forced to attack the Holt end in the first half as Sam Barrett has just sorted out the coin toss between the two captains Gibbs White and McGinn and Villa usually prefer to attack the Holt end after half time but they've got to go at it away to our right in the first half Dean and myself are sat about 20 rows back in the Trinity Road stand about midway inside the Villa half of the field to our left is the North stand, the two-tier stand at one end of Villa Park Forest fans opposite us in the Doug Ellis and Forest are wearing their chain strip today of white with light blue swirly trim I think that's the best way to describe it Dean across the front of the shirt yeah described perfectly not probably my favourite I've seen this season but just a little win as always for the captain there to turn around Aston Villa because you know it is sometimes superstitious I think for the home side yeah Villa will get us underway though and it's rolled back by Yuri Tillemans to Douglas Louise, and we're off and running on Talk Sport 2 for our exclusive 3 o'clock Premier League commentary. You won't find this on telly anywhere, so stick with us and we'll bring you the full uninterrupted 90 minutes. I'll keep you in touch with goals going in elsewhere around the Premier League and EFL amongst others. Immediately swung by John McGinn out to the left-hand side for Alex Moreno. Moves to the midway point of the Forest half taking defenders with him including Ilanga who's come back to defend it's worked back in field Douglas Louise went down Villa looking for a free kick but Sam Barrett says play on because you've still got the ball and it's worked into McGinn inside the centre circle Forrest haven't touched the ball yet Matty Cash forward, former Nottingham Forest fullback and Polish international now made nearly 150 appearances in the East Midlands McGinn rolls it across to Pau Torres who looks immediately for Moreno on the far side just inside the Forest half just nicks it away from Nico Williams but then Williams tracks back well gets a nudge in the back from Moreno and that's a Forest free kick minute gone nil nil Dean Ashton's alongside me this afternoon yeah and just looking at the system for Nottingham Forest it looks like a back four to me with Neocarte playing as a, an orthodox left back so he has gone with the same system that works so well against West Ham I didn't back myself I thought is he just going to slip Neocarte in at left back but I 
I, I caved in Dean yeah, I went for three at the back you, yeah. difficult though because he is a natural centre back mm. but he's playing left back and today it, and he's got Toffolo on the bench who is a left back which is even stranger here is Niacate in that left back position guys the ball in field to the young Brazilian defender Murillo lovely touch down the left hand side to get Callum Hudson Adoy away now it's worked into midfield Dominguez looks to play it through the middle for a one year but that was easily intercepted by Pau Torres who just holds his hands out calming his teammates down Tielemans works it to the right hand side for Leon Bailey on this near side to us attacking the whole team trying to get beyond the Akata just checks his run for a moment at the edge of the area goes down under pressure from Felipe and Danilo and eventually Leon Bailey puts his hand on the ball and the referee says free kick to Nottingham Forest, 0-0. Yeah, and he's absolutely right. There wasn't anywhere near enough contact, really, for Leon Bailey to go down. There's a little bit of pulling from Nia Carte, but also Bailey's got his arm around Nia Carte and he just falls to the floor with the ball stuck between his calves and then handles the ball. So, all ending like that. 0-0 here on TalkSport 2. First goal in the three o'clocks goes in up in the globe Morecambe nil, Grimsby 1 in League 2 Danny Rose for Grimsby who have no win in 6 and are just above the dreaded League 2 drop zone Villa win it back on halfway and it's out to Alex Moreno seen a lot of the ball early on the Aston Villa left back infield it goes to Douglas Louise who scored here last time out when they lost to Manchester United and did a weird little sort of dance routine after he'd um, stuck the ball away it seemed to wind a few Manchester United pundits up yeah and wasn't thrown back at him at all was it no. once they'd lost here is Matty Cash out to this near side the Villa right right in front of Nuno Espirito Santo stood just outside his technical area McGinn takes over drifts down the right hand side sets Bailey away right hand side of the box not makes the defender pulls it across the six yard line and Watkins tucks it home and Villa are off and running inside four minutes McGinn with a lovely slide rule pass down the right hand side of the box neat skill from Leon Bailey to jink inside the defender Murillo and then just slid it across the face of goal and the simplest of tap-ins for Ollie Watkins to make it 14 for the season in the Premier League Uno Emery punches the air and Villa hit the front Villa won Forest nil yeah and already they're taking advantage here Carte playing at left back and he just switches off his body position isn't right and it's just played down the side for Bailey to run in behind near Carte. And Murillo commits himself totally. And it's brilliant skill. He just with the outside of his left foot. Just dabs it between the legs of Murillo. Gets the other side. Gets his head up. Simply rolls it across. And Ollie Watkins will not score an easier goal all season. One and a half yards out. Just rolls it into an empty net. 14 goals. 10 assists in the Premier League this season. He's all purpose is Ollie Watkins. I would hesitate to say even I could have stuck that one away. But I'd have had to get in that position first. Yeah. To be able to stick it away. You could not have missed that. No. I guess not. Impossible. They are the they're the best goals those. They're just <laughs> wonderful. And here is Watkins again picking the ball up just inside the Nottingham Forest half. So an early goal here at Villa Park on Talk Sport 2. Going the way of the hosts trying to arrest that slightly curious recent home form. Rangers lead Hearts in Scotland. Mohamed Diamande early on at Ibrox. Doncaster lead AFC Wimbledon by a goal to nil. Shrewsbury want to put Reading in League 1. And Lincoln also in League 1 are one up at Port Vale still waiting for their first win under their new manager Darren Moore here come Forrest for the first time this afternoon really into the Villa half hudson Adoy infield for Gibbs White hudson Adoy finds Gibbs White again and tries to turn it around the corner for hudson Adoy. who made a neat run down the inside left channel but it was well intercepted by Villa but Bailey's clearance doesn't reach halfway and Murillo has it back he had to pay to get back in after Leon Bailey jinked inside him didn't he Murillo well, he just totally committed himself. It was the wrong decision. You know, Bailey is so good 1v1 and got the pace as well. You've just got to stand in there. OK, if he then beats you with a magnificent bit of skill, then you say OK. But don't totally commit yourself, because if you do, he's then just running in at your six-yard line. It was poor defensively from first Neocarte and then Murillo. So, throw for Musa Neocarte. 
to launch the ball into the box. Cardiff leads Stoke by a goal to nil in the championship. That's Keon Atete. Here comes the throw from near Carte for Forest into a crowded area. Headed out to the edge of the box and Hudson Ludoy gets right underneath it and skies a left footed shot way over the bar. Been a goal kick and they lead 1-0. Yeah, it still amazes me really how useful a long throw can be, how much chaos it can cause. Again, just a, a half-headed down clearance from an Aston Villa defender. Mm. Callum hudson Adoy was there and it was a really poor effort. He wasn't focused in terms of his body shape. He was really relaxed in the way he hit it with his left foot. And rather than hitting it just as it took a touch on the floor, he let it bounce a little higher and then he caught it and up and over it went. I mean, he scored three in his last four, so he's in form. Didn't look that confident with that finish, though. Villa 1, Nottingham Forest nil on Talk Sport 2. I want you trying to win it back left-hand corner of the penalty area, but plenty of claret and blue shirts back. Over it's back to Martinez, who's closed down immediately by Dominguez, but he very calmly rolls it out to Pau Torres, who brings the ball at his own 18-yard box. Finds Jacob Ramsey, midway point of his own half. Southampton nil, Millwall 1. Jaffet Tanganga, Millwall under new management, well, new old management, Neil Harris back in charge, and they lead at Southampton, who've lost two out their last three. Middlesbrough nil, Plymouth Argyle 1 elsewhere in the Championship. Matthew Sorinola for the Pilgrims after that long, long trip up, trip up to Teesside. And Sutton nil, Colchester 1 right at the foot of League 2. Colchester lead at Sutton. Now down the left-hand side of the box for Villa. Moreno trying to find Jacob Ramsey. Pulls it back from the byline, but it only found Danilo in the end. And Forrest can bring it clear up to a one year Just inside his own half, finds Gibbs White. And he tried to spread it wide left for the run of Caleb hudson Adoy, But Cash read the danger, got his head in the way and nodded it back to his own keeper. 1-0 Villa. Yeah, he picked up a good position there, Cash. He didn't either commit too far over to hudson Adoy. He kept his distance between him and Longley perfectly. And Gibbs White it was just a disappointing ball. He could have taken a, an extra touch and made sure because a one year really good centre forward play holding it up and flicking it around the corner for Gibbs White eight minutes gone on Talk Sport 2 Aston Villa 1 Nottingham Forest 0 QPR 0 Rotherham 1 in the championship Tom Eaves Notts County 0 Crew 1 Mickey Dimitriou up from the back to give Crew the lead at Meadow Lane just having a bit of a wobble Notts County when they looked a cert for at least a playoff place Villa coming forward, a goal to the good. Here's Moreno, across to the edge of the area. Long touch from Ramsey, gets it back from Watkins. And then Watkins again drives it goals. And the feet of the goalkeeper, Matt Sells, turns it behind for a Villa corner at the whole 10. 1-0. Brilliant play down the left-hand side. Moreno's free once again. Just fires it in low towards Ramsey, takes a deflection. Little header from Watkins, cushioned into Ramsey's path. He fed it back to Watkins, who took a flash shot along the floor. And it's actually Nia Carte who gets a, a foot up and over the bar because that was goal bound wasn't it seemed to be well Sells was right there wasn't he right behind him Douglas Ruiz with the corner across the face of goal and headed away and out for another corner on the near side to us where the whole 10 meets the Trinity Road Murillo got the important touch to keep it away but Villa have another corner 1-0 up yeah conceded the most from set plays this season Nottingham Forest something Nuno will be desperate to get right now McGinn is going to take this corner kick so it'll be a left footed in swing it from the Scott not too many in the six yard box few Villa players making a run from around the penalty spot fired it along the deck for McGinn and then Leon Bailey is offside as he picked the ball up down the right hand side of the area and Forrest will have a free kick Blackpool nil, Bolton 1 George Thomason puts Bolton ahead you're listening to Aston Villa 1 Nottingham Forest nil on Talk Sport 2 with now don't forget that with now you can stream all the Sky Sports action like Bournemouth Manchester City live today contract free with a now membership search now sports, Ian Danter and Dean Ashton with you at Villa Park with Forest in possession. I think the difficult thing about playing against Aston Villa is how lopsided almost the team becomes. You know, with Ramsey tucking in from that left-hand side right into midfield, Bailey going really wide and Tielemans kind of playing in a sort of floating role and then Moreno being given the lies. It's such a lopsided team. You've got to get it right defensively. At the moment, Alanga isn't covering Moreno. Ball one back quite fairly by Danilo, says Ref Barrett. Reading one, Shrewsbury two. Shrewsbury went 2 nil up through Tom Eaves. Not Tom Eaves, do forgive me, it wasn't Tom Eaves. Tom Bayliss. But Reading got one back through Sam Smith. Reading one, Shrewsbury two in League One. 1-0 one here to Aston Villa. 
and we're yet to see Nottingham Forest really have a period of pressure inside the Villa half but here's Morgan Gibbs White chipping the ball out to the right hand side he was looking for the run of Anthony Alanga and Alanga just lets the ball run out of play because Moreno got a touch so a chance again for Nia Carte to launch a long throw into the Villa box one yeah, Villa trotting over from left back all the way over to that right wing position near Carte to launch this one in but that's where Villa are vulnerable if a player can get free and get his head up with time on the ball they're so compact and high Villa there's space out wide to just play that ball over the top near Carte drying the ball on a conveniently left towel on that far side I thought that had been outlawed but it will be a long throw into the box is that a forest photographer? It may well be. In it goes to the near post. He might drop at the edge of the area for hudson Doy, but Bailey just toe pokes it clear. Nico Williams is the last man back. Hooks it down the left-hand side. <coughs> it drops for a one yeet and he guides it down very neatly for Gibbs White. Now Danilo. Good ball out to hudson Doy on this near side, right in front of our commentary position. Tries to play a one-two with Gibbs White, but that doesn't come off. Bailey and Douglas Louise win it back. And now Cash tight to this near touchline has to roll it back to Douglas who's near the dead ball line as Forrest are pressing quite high now trying to stop Villa from playing out and then Douglas Louise clips it downfield Murillo gets a heavy touch and Watkins was nearly away but credit near Carte coming back across to his left back position got in his way and won the ball back yeah I don't think that's a bad tactic though for Nottingham Forest when Aston Villa do start to drift back into their own half they will play they will take risks that is an opportunity to press. Here's Alanga, right-hand side. Lovely quick feet to get away from Moreno. Brought down by Ramsey, almost at the right-hand corner of the penalty area. It's lovely quick feet from the Swede. And oh. Forrest have a free kick in the dangerous area. Villa one up. That was just magnificent from Anthony Alanga on that far side. Moreno, no idea whatsoever. His legs were like me using chopsticks, just left and right. He had no chance, Moreno. It was brilliant from Alanga. And Ramsey, I think, just coming from the wrong side, did give the foul. So, free kick to Nottingham Forest. Over on the far side of the field, Forest fans in that Doug Ellis stand opposite as just shielding their eyes from the mid-afternoon sun. It's right in their faces. And the free kick will be for Morgan Gibbs-White. Almost at the right-hand corner of the Villa penalty area at the north stand end that Forrest are attacking in this first half. 14 minutes gone, 1-0 Villa. Here comes Gibbs White, addresses the ball, plays it to the far post, drops for Hudson, the door tries to guide it, goal is blocked by McGinn, and it should be brought clear by Douglas Louise, and then he's fouled by Murillo, and a yellow card for the Brazilian. First player in the book is the Brazilian defender for Forrest. And Villa will have a free kick just outside their own penalty area. 1-0 here, also 1-0 to MK Dons against Newport County in League 2. Daniel Kemp with his 17th of the season for Milton Keynes. 1-0 here. I feel a little sorry there for Murillo. I don't think that's anywhere near a yellow card. I thought he was just way stronger than Douglas Luiz and therefore it made it look like he had bashed him to the ground. But actually he was just stronger and, and he's unfortunate now to be on a yellow card. Here is Longley. A lovely turn from Ramsey to skip away through the centre circle for Villa. Moreno in plenty of space out on his left-hand side, but he goes infield to Tielemans. He lays it off to McGinn. Villa captain plays it out to Cash on the near side to us, the Villa right, as the home side are attacking the Holt end in this first half on Talk Sport 2. And a free kick as Tielemans was brought down by Dominguez this time. And a chance for Villa to load the ball into the box. Yeah, that definitely was a foul from Dominguez, just right through the back of Tielemans' calves. Just going back to that lopsidedness of Villa, what it does do is that it means that players aren't playing in conventional positions, which therefore defensively means you've got to think, well, am I going to go out of my position to go and get close to an Aston Villa player? And then you may be caught in between. Douglas Luiz runs over the ball it's all around McGinn to swing it into the box left footed only hits the first defender Gibbs White who hits it away for Forrest but it's picked up by Tielemans up to the edge of the area and it was Pau Torres who tried to turn his man just got the ball nicked away from him but Villa have won it back with Cash just over the halfway line carries the ball forward 10 yards then lays it out to this near side the right for Leon Bailey who set up that opening goal for Ollie Watkins inside the first few minutes of the game. That's the goal by which Aston Villa lead here on Talk Sport 2 with 16 minutes gone. 
Now Torres with a diagonal ball left to right looking for Bailey but he just can't bring it down. It was awkward for him to bring down and control very tight to this near touchline so Forrest have a throw. Yeah that's what Paul Torres brings though. He's got a magnificent left foot and brilliant range with his passing. I think that's why he's actually preferred on the left-hand side of the two centre-backs, considering Onglay's left-footed as well, just because he's got that extra bit of quality. Here's hudson Doy, but Longley just puts his foot through it, not go out of play for a goal kick. Don't forget the cricket's back tomorrow morning on Talk Sport 2 from half past three in the morning, day three in Ranchi. England in a pretty commanding position, what, 130-odd runs ahead. India have just three first-innings wickets left. And you can join our team from half three. Commentary starts at 4 a.m. Ball by ball, exclusive commentary. Can England make it 2-2 going into the fifth and final test? Full control from Callum Hudson. The door presents Aston Villa with a throw here. As Blackpool equalised against Bolton, that's 1-1. Jay Beasley. Hudson the door wins it back for Forest. Sheffield Wednesday lead Bristol City in the championship. Ike Ugbo in great goal scoring form at the moment up front for Wednesday. He's got the goal at Hillsborough. Bristol Rovers nil, Carlisle won in League One. Carlisle, no winning seven and bottom of the table. Leafu Josh Villa at the Mem. Here at Villa Park, it's Aston Villa 1, Nottingham Forest nil. If you're just tuning in to Talk Sport 2, nearly 18 minutes gone. Ollie Watkins with the early strike, just tapping the ball home from a couple of yards out after great set at play from McGinn and Bailey down the right. And Forrest haven't really offered a great deal, Dean Ashton, in this opening 20. No, but they also haven't given up anything other than that that one chance that they were paid for. And they're actually playing in a similar manner, the two teams. When the opposition has it, they kind of sit off mainly. And then are looking to, to be quick then in, once they win the ball in transition. Villa win it back, and it's guided down to Pau Torres inside his own half. Mansfield leads Salford by a goal to nil in lead two. The Stags lead through Will Swan. What's of Nottingham Forest who we're watching here today at Villa Park. The score at one nil to the hosts and here's Matty Cash. Bang on the halfway line and tight to this near touchline. Forced back in field by hudson Adoy and gives the ball back to Longley. And back to World Cup winner Emiliano Martinez. Torres now takes over, will carry the ball up towards the halfway line and just calmly passes out left to Moreno, gives it back to Torres, no real press from Forrest as Torres can get the ball to the halfway line, now the press is engaged and he goes back to his keeper Martinez who stood outside his 18 yard box just rolling his foot on the ball. Yeah they're not forcing it are they yet Villa, they're really waiting for that genuine opportunity when a player is free in behind being very very patient with Douglas Louise slotting in between the two centre backs at times and Martinez getting involved as well in the build up Sunderland nil Swansea 1 at the stadium of Mike Ronald has given Swansea the lead back to back losses for Sunderland Mike Dodds in interim charge here's Villa coming forward with Ian Bailey inside the area right hand side drives it into the near post and sells gets his feet behind it and it's put behind for a second, well a third, Villa corner. Yeah, the really, really slick play from Aston Villa. One touch from Watkins into Ramsey, into Tielemans, across to Bailey. And then just, instead of wanting to go on his left foot, which I'm sure he does, Carte yeah, shows him down the line, little step over and away, and sells as well, just to make sure he doesn't commit at that near post. McGinn with the corner at the Holt end. Left footed, deep to the far post, but a very comfortable claim for Matt Sells. Recent arrival at Nottingham Forest, joined in January from Strasbourg, the Belgian. Made a few appearances for Newcastle about five or six years ago. And he bowls the ball out. He's wearing all blue this afternoon, the Nottingham Forest keeper. Crew 2-0 up at Notts County. Elliot Nevitt with a penalty. And Sutton equaliser at home to Colchester. That's 1-1. Charlie Lakin with the equaliser for bottom of the table, Sutton. Forest in possession, just shy of the halfway line. And it's with Felipe, gives the ball to Danilo. And he's been dispossessed by Douglas Louise, who brings the ball clear, rides the challenge of Felipe, but back comes the defending of Nicola Dominguez to win it back for Forrest. Good strong clearance down the line, and suddenly Alanga was in behind, but then the ball ran through away from him. And then Torres is giving it back to Alanga. Alanga finds Awanyi down the right hand side, little toe in 
from John McGinn and he'll go and retrieve it and prevent a corner as well to Nottingham Forest. Villa still lead 1-0. He's ridiculous isn't he John McGinn? He was involved in that attack a second ago and all of a sudden he's at left back helping out Moreno. Energy is ridiculous. Well he's doing a job now for Villa isn't he these days. I'll break off for a minute because there's a player gone down. It's uh, Ollie Watkins I think just shy of the halfway line in an incident off the ball looks in some distress and the referee's blown his whistle and we'll uh, see what the issue is and the, the uh, physios are being told to come on he just had he's holding the, the small of his back on the replay i'm seeing as he goes down under pressure from murillo who got a yellow card early in the piece yeah i'm i'm, I'm not sure this is a foul as such and i th it's not like Murillo's come in and it's a knee to the back and that's what's caused Watkins a problem. But as they were sort of wrestling and Watkins took a, a step back, he then suddenly grabbed his back as if maybe it has a, a, a slight spasm in the muscle. But he's looking uncomfortable. Murillo's got to be careful though. Yeah, yeah. Having had a yellow card, goodness me. Burton nil, Northampton won in League One. Mark Leonard puts the cobblers ahead. In the Championship, Blackburn nil, Norwich won. Dean's old sider ahead at Ewood Park through Marcelino Nunez. Big game in League One at Oakwell. Barnsley nil, Derby won. That's fourth against second. And Sonny Bradley's given Derby the lead. And Oxford United won. Lake Norian nil elsewhere in League One. Oxford started the day in sixth against ninth place Lake Norian. Tyler Goodrum's given. Oxford the lead. You've missed none of the action here because Watkins has just been led to the side. He's going to be okay. He's going to be back on sooner rather than later. You're listening to Aston Villa 1, Nottingham Forest nil on TalkSport 2 with Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Enterprise has vans of shapes, all shapes and sizes, should I say. So if you've got a plan, they've got a van. Ian Danter and Dean Ashton with you at Villa Park. We restart with a long kick downfield for Villa. Marillo might have handled it, but... It's won back by Tielemans, who's running down the right-hand side of the area, fires into the near post, and it's patted away by Sells, almost back from whence it came. Forrest trying to bring the ball down and get it clear. Hudson Odoi trying to roll Matty Cash, and he's been fouled by Cash. And Forrest get a free kick, and again, Murillo, this very talented centre-half for Nottingham Forest, looked under a bit of pressure there. Yeah, it was a, a quick free kick from Longley, looking for Bailey in behind. And Murillo definitely handled it, but I think his, his hands were right close to his, his body. But still, yeah, looking uncomfortable at the moment. And you would do. You, when you're on a yellow card as a as a defender, it, it does play on your mind. Here's Nico Williams for Nottingham Forest. Back in field to Dominguez. Strokes it calmly across to the inside left channel. Murillo just gets up to halfway, trying to slip it down the left wing for Callum hudson Adoy, but it was very easily intercepted by Matty Cash. Exeter lead Fleetwood in League One, Vincent Harper giving the Grecians the lead and MK Dons double their lead against Newport County, that's now 2-0 to the Dons, Jack Payne. Villa a goal to the good, we've played 24 minutes of this first half on TalkSport 2 and Pau Torres clips a lovely ball out to this near side that Cash brings down on his instep, just shy of the halfway line, Bailey taking Niakate infield for a moment then just lays it off to the captain McGinn as I say he's doing a job there McGinn he normally plays a bit further forward but with Traore out he's helping out Douglas Louise in those defensive midfield positions now Moreno finds Jacob Ramsey for Villa and it goes to McGinn in the centre of the half one or two saying shoot but he works it down the left hand side of the box for Moreno who tried to steer it across the face of goal first time at full stretch but just toe-ended it straight to the Forest keeper cells. Villa 1, Forest 0. Yeah, it was just a fraction over here from John McGinn. You're right, who is playing a, a deeper role, a more defensive role, because he was playing more of a Tielemans role that was higher up the pitch, looking to get up alongside Watkins. But he's the type of player you could just put him anywhere and he'd be fantastic, wouldn't he? That's the voice of Dean Ashton, former Norwich and West Ham striker alongside me, Ian Danton. 1 0 here to Villa, 1 0 to Stevenage against Wickham in League One. Carl Piergiani up from the back to give Borough the lead. That was a controversial fixture in the reverse fixture. Now, Forrest coming away with Nico Williams, playing the ball in filter. A 1 U goes down. Longley was next to him, but referee Sam Barrett was right on the scene and said, play on, no foul. Well, I mean, the only thing I can think is, why would a 1 U? go to ground there because the ball was brilliant from Nico Williams it was into his path he would have been able to take a touch I think 
and possibly been 1v1 with Martinez. Why would he go down unless he was pulled by Longley? That's the only question I have. Well, it's currently Aston Villa 1, Nottingham Forest 0 for the latest odds. Head to William Hill, the official betting partner of TalkSport 2's Premier League coverage, where right now you can get Villa to go on and win at 4-1 to one on. Forest to win at 17-2, to two, the draw priced at 9-2. to two. That's all thanks to William Hill. Get epic value all season with William Hill. It's 18+, plus. begambleaware.org. You know who will be looking at that with a magnifying glass, don't you? That decision. Mark Landberg. Absolutely just hired by Nottingham Forest as a refereeing analyst in case you weren't aware Dean Ashton right on the money <laughs> with that analysis Bristol City equalised at Sheffield Wednesday that's 1-1 one, one at Hillsborough and Blackpool 2-1 up against Bolton now coming from behind Elanga gets to the byline for Forest and pulls it back but McGinn will clear and Williams will retrieve it he won't let it go out for a throw brings it towards the area again right hand side and then it's hit against him by Tielemans and that's going to be a goal kick for Aston Villa away to our left Swansea 2-0 up at Sunderland now and Ronald has a second I saw him play the other week he was the outstanding player for Swansea when they got absolutely walloped by Leeds United but he's a hulking aggressive attacking midfielder and he scored twice at the Stadium of Light yeah. not a happy place just now no it's not Barnett 1 York City 0 in the National League so it's 1-0 to Aston Villa here and we're 28 minutes into this Premier League encounter. No other Premier League goals that I can bring you with either Brighton, Crystal Palace or Manchester United so far this afternoon. Don't forget the game day phone in with Jamie O'Hara and Gabby Agbon the Hall over on TalkSport at 5.30 and straight after that they're off to the Emirates. Our exclusive 8 o'clock commentary is Arsenal against Newcastle United. Think of the controversy that surrounded Newcastle's winning the reverse fixture. Anthony Gordon and all that. It's an 8 o'clock kickoff live on TalkSport from the Emirates. Straight after the phone in. Now, Matty Cash inside the Nottingham Forest box for Villa. Pulls it across the face of goal. A touch from Ramsey. Sets up Douglas Louise. Brilliant second goal for Aston Villa. Once again, they pick Forest apart. Down their right hand side, Villa. Cash involved at the start. Swung across the face of goal. A lovely, lovely touch from Jacob Ramsey. Spotting that his teammate Douglas Louise was there. And in acres of space. And he swept it home with total authority. 29 minutes gone, Aston Villa 2, Nottingham Forest 0. Well, I think it's pretty obvious that Nuno has got this wrong down the left-hand side for Nottingham Forest. Near Carte, Hudson Adoy, not on the same wavelength, not communicating. Cash just plays out of white to Bailey. Hudson Adoy does not follow Cash. It's a brilliant ball by Bailey into his path. And then when it comes to Jacob Ramsey, how unselfish is this? He could easily have taken a shot. I wonder if he gets a shout from Douglas Luiz because he just turns without looking, plays it in towards the penalty spot. It's such an easy finish for Douglas Luiz. He just has to make sure he finds the corner. He keeps his head down, keeps it low, side foots it past Sells, and it's 2-0, but it's really poor defending from Nottingham Forest. No dance routine from Douglas Luiz that time, none required. And there was a right old conflab going on amongst... Nottingham Forest players as Villa made their way back to the halfway line for the restart they were all having a huddle in the centre of their own half the Forest players saying we've got this wrong probably yeah and all, but also who's picking up who how does Ramsey walk into the box unmarked how does he turn and give the ball and Douglas Luiz is able just to stroll in totally unmarked it's just that cannot happen at this level of football 2-0 to Aston Villa on the half hour then on TalkSport 2. Forest have an awful lot to do to get back into this game because they've rarely troubled, in fact they haven't troubled, Martinez as yet in the Aston Villa goal. MK Dons 3, Newport nil now in League 2. That's Alex Gilby with the third for Milton Keynes. And 2-0 to Plymouth up at Middlesbrough. They've been struggling with late Plymouth. No win or clean sheet in five, but Ryan Hardy has them two up on side. throw to Nottingham Forest down to our right hand side on this near touchline near Carte doesn't have a photographer's towel to use so he's trying the ball on the underside of his jersey throws it downfield but a one year can't get his way clear of McGinn and Longley calmly passes back to Martinez 
2-0 no. Villa I thought Nottingham Forest would cause Villa more problems with the pace that they've got out wide with that high line of Aston Villa there's not been many runs clever runs in behind Gibbs White hasn't once gone beyond a one year which is what you'd expect of a high line is that deeper player catching the, himself on side it's just not happened now Villa trying to play Watkins through the middle but Murillo managed to get there in the nick of time to win it back near Carte will guide it down for Dominguez fires it up to a one he turns neatly inside the Villa half gives it to Hudson Adore on this left hand touch line but he's forced back to the halfway line by Leon Bailey but now near Carte striding down the left hand side through the legs of the defender a one year into the box held up by a few players sent back to the edge of the area and Danilo I don't really know what he was trying to do whether it was a cross or a shot got caught in two minds Danilo but Forrest have kept possession yeah I can only think that he doesn't see Moreno for some reason because he he must think that the pass is on to Alanga and just plays it into his pattern Moreno's just there to clear and then Forrest look for the invisible man out on the far touchline and Villa get themselves a throw Ross County 2 Livingston nil in the Scottish Premiership that's the bottom two facing each other Livingston starting the day three points behind Ross County it's going to be six if they're not careful Falls back with the two Villa centre-halves who have looked fairly untroubled so far. We mentioned just how many centre-halves were absent for Villa at the moment. Diego Carlos, Esri Conza, Tyrone Mings. It's ridiculous, really. Esri Conza, Courtney Hawes. But Torres and Longley doing a good job. Ipswich 1, Birmingham 0. Connor Chaplin puts Ipswich in front at Portman Road in the Championship. Cardiff 2-0 up on Stoke City. Carl Ann Grant gets a second for the Bluebirds. And they've had no winning for Cardiff. Tielemans for Aston Villa. 2-0 up here. Cash. Oh, he's got behind. Hudson Adoy with ease up to the edge of the area. Finds Leon Bailey. Gives it back to Cash. Almost got a shot in on goal. A vital foot in right at the last by Murillo to keep it away from the former Forest man. It was piling into the area on the inside right. But Forrest get it clear and they end up having a throw. 2-0 Villa and they're all over Forrest. Yeah, it's, look, it's not good enough. Calamut and Adoy, it's not okay just to get forward and, you know, have those dancing feet on the wing. You've got to do your defensive work and that's down to hard work. Following your, your, your man, well, following Cash. The question you, is, does he know the position well enough? But you don't need that to just follow and run with somebody. Mm. You know, that, that's just down to desire and wanting to do the job. And that's three times now Cash has just ran past him without him chasing him. That's the voice of Dean Ashton alongside me, Ian Danton, here at Villa Park. Just over ten minutes to the break on Talk Sport 2. And it is Aston Villa 2, Nottingham Forest 0. Goals from Watkins and Douglas Louise putting clear blue water between hosts and visitors and the ball's back with Emiliano Martinez who can just calmly bring the ball out of his own penalty area just not slow walking outside of his penalty area no press from the one yi until he gives the ball to Pau Torres just to his left Josh Branniel's been sent off for Burnley at Crystal Palace that's still nil-nil but Burnley down to 10 here's Watkins down the left hand side of the box for Villa oh lovely turn to get away from his man tried to pull it back for Ramsey at the edge of the area but there was an important foot in there from Danilo and Forrest get it clear up to a one year near the halfway line he's fouled he's nudged and gets a free kick Bristol Rovers equalise against Carlisle that's 1-1 one, one. so yeah Burnley down to 10 never ranks but it pulls from Vincent Company up against Palace with their new manager Olivier Glasner taking full charge today at Crystal Palace again magnificent centre forward play from Watkins just spins down the side of Felipe and just checks as if he's going to cross it and cuts back but that's what they're looking for Aston Villa get down to the byline and then they're cutting it back for three or four midfield players that are all bursting into the box it's a real feature of Unai Emery's teams when they attack is those tight narrow midfield players all of them looking to get into the box Southampton have equalised against Millwall in the championship Shea Adams makes it 1-1 at St Mary's and Northampton 2-0 up at Burton in League 1 Mitch Pinnock throw into Aston Villa where well, you were talking to John Jackson before the game about everything that 
Ollie Watkins does that's so good. It's just the finishing that sometimes let him down. He's had the simplest of finishes today. But Villa got defending to do as Nia Carte strides forward to the left-hand corner of the box, trying to check onto his right foot and get a shot away. But there's plenty of Villa players back. And then Dominguez tried to loft it into the box. Too casual. One bounce and through to Martinez. 2-0 Villa. Yeah, they've made some odd decisions, haven't they? Nottingham Forest, when they've got to the edge of the area. Brilliant from Hudson Adoy. Eventually finding... Dominguez and then just trying a little lifted pass straight pass into the penalty area just that's now twice Danilo did the same strange decisions at the edge of the box Barnsley equalised against Derby in that battle of fourth against second in League One Adam Phillips making it 1-1 at Oakville again Watkins with a strong run down the left hand side taking players with him and then tries to turn away from Felipe and he's fouled by the Forest defender and applause for the, the industry, the sheer industry and the will of Ollie Watkins to utilise that space, drag defenders out of their natural position and then draw the foul. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure why Felipe even goes out there because Nico Williams is there doing the job and actually probably 1v1 Nico Williams would be better, probably got better pace and turning ability. And Felipe just goes out there and just clobbers him and then gives him a little kick while he's on the floor as well. Nice. Hibbs won Dundee nil in the Scottish Premiership. Free kick for Villa. Tight to the far touchline. They're attacking the whole end. It's about 10 yards from the corner flag, I would say. And it will be Douglas Lewis who scored Villa second to swing this free kick in. Very packed around the edge of the six-yard box in both claret and blue and white. In it goes to the near post and it's Danilo who heads it out at the near post behind for a Villa corner there. Fourth of the half and they lead 2-0 on TalkSport 2. Teasing delivery from Douglas Luiz. Just tests both defender and goalkeeper. Sells is ready to just punch this away. Delino feels as if he has to just get ahead on it. McGinn spotting the corner down. And it's going to be a left-footed in-swinger from the Scott for Aston Villa. Again, lots of movement around the penalty spot. Ball runs to the near post. Longley was the target, but it was headed out by Elanga. But Villa will win it back. Cash steers it back out to this near side, the right. Bit of space for McGinn, level with the edge of the area. Checks onto his left end, drags it onto his right. Lovely cross, 3-0. Douglas Louise, fantastic goal. Planted ahead of home. Beyond the keeper, so, so easy. And it was all when Matty Cash spotted John McGinn in space on the right. A little check back in onto his right foot and a delicious cross, aching to be headed home. Douglas Ruiz duly obliged. You sense it's game over and we're not even at half time yet. Five minutes to the break. It's Villa 3, Forest 0. Well, it will be if you defend like that. It's just pathetic defending from Nottingham Forest. And it's not just one player. You know, it's multiple players. They've been bad from set plays, but they head it away. It doesn't quite get clear, and then when it comes over to McGinn, I think it's Alanga who goes out there and he just turns his back on McGinn when the cross. And McGinn just then comes onto his right foot, plays it in, and then when it's recycled, as defenders, you have to get close to people. You have to turn your head and check where people are. Douglas Lewis has just stood there on his own in the six yard box and just doesn't even have to move. He just jumps up, heads it in, pass sells because the power's on the cross. Well, as Ray Houghton used to say to me, show me a goal and I'll show you a mistake. And there's a whole number of mistakes in that goal. And Forrester 3 0 down. Murillo, I think, was the player that should have been watching where Douglas Lewis was but lost his man completely. Villa are heading forward trying to get a fourth and Jacob Ramsey almost got Watkins away in the inside left channel but Forrest have won it back and now Ilanga trying a bit of a turn of pace over the halfway line but Moreno holds up the run. Rangers 2-0 up on Hearts in Scotland in the Premiership. By the way, it's East 5-0, 4-5-1. I hope that doesn't go 5-4. Not having that. It was 5-5 here between these two teams a few years back, a game I did for TalkSport 2 in the Championship. Now ball into the box as Forrest try and get one back and now one year hits the ball against the keeper and he was offside anyway. Late flag from the assistant on the far side so it would not have counted. Yeah, it was five all here and very nearly six by Villa thought they'd won it with El Mohamedi with a, a goal that was ruled out for offside in the last seconds. Absolutely crazy game of football. <laughs> this 
is completely one-sided by yeah, contrast. You, you, yeah, you don't quite expect the comeback, do you, on what we've seen so far in the first half. If anything, you would expect Aston Villa to go on. If you're a believer in expected goals, Dean, I don't know whether you are or not, but Villa's expected goals, 1.75. They're 3-0 up. <laughs> if you believe in such witchcraft. I don't, personally, but there we are. Stats are stats. What was it my old boss said? He wants stats by a book. <laughs> Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest nil. Four minutes to half time on Talk Sport 2. Villa in total command here and consolidating their Champions League berth that they hold on to at the moment. Watkins again, brilliant down the left-hand side of the area. Ramsey fires it across the face of goal. I think Sell's got a touch on that and it's gone behind, is it? For a goal kick or a court has been given us a, a goal kick. So it didn't appear that the Belgian got a touch on that. But Watkins again, just drifting out to the left-hand side, holding the ball up and then getting Ramsey in inside the area and his shot flashed across the face of Golden Wide. 3-0 Villa. Again, it's, I mean, look, it's really good play. Of course it is from Watkins and, and Ramsey. But all they're doing is running. They're just making good runs and nobody's tracking them. Felipe didn't want to go in tight, so allowed Watkins to turn. Dominguez then didn't follow the run. Now Ramsey. Now again wins it off. Danilo gets up to the edge of the area, lays it off to the left-hand side. Chance for Tielemans maybe to get on the end of it at the edge of the area. It's laid back to McGinn at the left-hand side of the box. Drifts down the left-hand side. He's trying to get away from Felipe and from Nico Williams. He's still holding on to the ball, McGinn. Tight to the dead ball line. Checks onto his right. Brilliant skill from the Scott. Plays it in field. Chance for a shot on goal. And it's curled over by Ramsey. He saw the far corner and thought he could just curl it into it, but it went a good 10 yards over. But the Villa fans absolutely loving this first half performance this is vintage Villa 3-0 they lead yeah absolutely I mean look I talk about the defending from Nottingham Forest but actually let's give credit to Aston Villa the way they're moving it the interchanging of positions of the forward players has been absolutely brilliant and so difficult to defend Ramsey edge of the box little shuffle of the feet but then just trying to curl in the far corner lent back up and over the top Cardiff 2 Stoke 1 in the championship Stoke get one back through by Jun Ho and it's an equaliser for Salford at Mansfield. That's 1-1 one, one at the one call. Junior Luamba for Salford. We're in a decent run under Carl Robinson. Eight unbeaten since he's gone in there. It's not bad, is it? Balls out of play for an Aston Villa goal kick. We're heading towards the last minute of normal time in this first half. We just caught sight of Mark Clattenburg, sat up just to our right. Cameras have caught sight of him in the director's box. Does he coach defending as well? <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon find out. <laughs> it is 3-0 to Aston Villa. And they're in possession. And under no real pressure, as Pau Torres has it, almost at the midway point of his own half. Then it's given away. And one year was almost in on goal. But Torres rescued the situation. It was a poor pass back in field by Alex Moreno. But he was bailed out by Pau Torres there, Dean Ashton. Yeah, he was... And then what brilliant tackle. Yeah, he was. Brilliant tackle, I have to say. Yellow card for Felipe, about time. That's about his fourth challenge on Watkins. But Pau Torres had to time that perfectly because Sawanyi was ready to pounce and he just slid in Pau Torres and got a great touch on it and helped his left back out. So a free kick to Aston Villa as we move into added time at the end of this first half. Fourth official. Darren Bond about to hold up the ball. We're going to have five extra minutes here before we get to half-time at Villa Park. And to start it, Villa have a free kick driven inside to out by Douglas Lewis. Brilliantly finds Leon Bailey. Right-hand side again. He's got Niakate on toast. Gets to the right-hand side of the area. Lays it back to Tielemans. Back for Bailey once again down the right-hand side of the box. Now there's a toe-in from Niakate and it goes out for a Villa throw right by the corner flag on this near side. Villa still piling forward towards the Holt end in stoppage time, 3-0. Yeah, if I was Nuno, I'd be changing Felipe Murillo and Nia Carte. I'd take them all off at, at half-time. You've got two centre-backs on yellow cards that at the moment are out their depth. Is and a left-back that just doesn't look comfortable in that position. Tell you now, if Barry Fry was manager of Nottingham Forest, he'd be making all five changes. <laughs> and then ask if he can make some more. McGinn for Aston Villa. And that's not being cruel, that's, that's genuine. You know, both centre-backs on yellow cards and look like they, at the moment, can't cope and could easily get a red. And the left-back, Nia Carte, doesn't look comfortable in, in that position. And you've got, you know, 
Kuyate and Omabamadeli on the bench you could bring on and Topolo. We'll see what half time brings. Villa 3 0 up in added time. We're into the second minute of those five added on. Pau Torres licks the ball out of play. Millwall back in front at Southampton. Southampton 1 0 to Zion Fleming at St Mary's. It's all getting very interesting at the top. Leeds beat Leicester City live on Talksport last night, Dean, with those three late goals. Ipswich beating Birmingham at the moment. Southampton trailing. Can't take a moment's rest, can you, in that race for a place in the Premier? Absolutely, and that fifth and sixth place now getting bunched up, isn't it, with West Brom dropping a few points. Yeah, that was live on TalkSport 2 at lunchtime as Hull City and West Brom drew one apiece at the MKM. Sheffield Wednesday back in front against Bristol City, and it's another for E.K. Ugbo to put Sheffield Wednesday back into the lead at Hillsborough. Free kick to Aston Villa, rolled back to Martinez. Two minutes of the minimum five added on have elapsed. The possession stats have just come up on the screen, 58 to 42, which doesn't sound too bad, but it's it's what Villa have done with the 58% that has absolutely bamboozled Forrest in this first half. Gibbs White, the Forest captain, infield to Dominguez, looks early for Nico Williams, who got a sp bit of space to charge into. Down the Forest right on the opposite side from us. Tries to go on the outside of Ramsey, lays it off to Elanga. Right hand corner of the box, early cross, comfortably headed clear by Torres. It didn't even have to jump for that, just let the ball come onto his forehead. And it was well clear up to the halfway line. Forest Green 1, Tranmere nil in League 1. Failed to score in their last three at home, Forest Green, but they've got it right today with Charlie McCann putting them in front. Here's Callum hudson Adoy for Nottingham Forest. Working his way into the box, left-hand side. Trying to lay it off for Dominguez, who tries a wild shot that's nowhere near on target. And the Wahays, you can hear from the Villa fans in the north stand. Behind that goal to our left, told you how close that was. 3-0 Villa. Yeah, that's definitely one not to remember from Dominguez, but Nick Arte got in his way, which didn't particularly help, as he was then trotting back into his defensive position. Ipswich 1, Birmingham City 1. Hopefully I won't get a right hook in my left arm from my producer, Ipswich supporter, as Jordan James equalises right on half-time for Birmingham. Here come Forrest at the end of the half. Williams teases the ball into the box and it comes off Pau Torres and deflects behind for Forrest's first corner of the game. And a few ironic cheers from the Forrest fans opposite us in the Doug Ellis stand. Can they make something happen and give them something to take into the half-time break with? 3 0 down as they are. Yeah, I just noticed a couple of groans just from the Aston Villa supporters as if they know look you've got to make sure you've got to get to half time without conceding they just drop deep and just drop the intensity for the last few minutes so Gibbs White will have the corner where the Doug Ellis meets the North Stand on the far side of the field from us right footed out swinger from the former Wolves man Addresses the ball right-footed, swings it deep to the far post. A one-in, hits it back across goal and chested in by Mia Carte. They do get one back, Nottingham Forest. Right on half-time, Gibbs White swung the corner deep. A one-in, headed it back across the face of goal. And running in was Musa Mia Carte, who very cleverly just chested the ball in to give Forest a goal right on half-time and give the travelling support hope at Villa Park. It's Villa 3, Forest 1. Well, you would still say the Villa massive favourites to go on and win the game but why why would you be so poor in your focus towards the end of the half if you're Aston Villa three header for Awani and then Nia Carte just runs off the back of the defender nobody follows him and he just chests it in from a yard out it's just whether he went a fraction early well VAR will be having a look Stuart Atwell is the man at Stockley Park this afternoon assisted by Adrian Holmes so it's a bit of finger in the ear from Sam Barrett as he put his index finger to the headset in his right ear just making sure he's getting the information he nods his head goals good goal stands on we go so Musa Niakate first goal of the season for Nottingham Forest for him and it gives them a foothold in this game which you would barely have imagined they would have the chance to get as we approach half time 
Yeah, and it's, it's, a, look, it's another game where Aston Villa don't keep a clean sheet. It's, yeah. it's, it's something that they've struggled with all season. And that is the half-time whistle. And there's applause around Villa Park, but it's somewhat muted. Because had Moussa Carter not got that late, late goal back, it would have been thunderous applause around this stadium for the way that Unai Emery's Villa have gone about their business in this first half as they bid to consolidate their spot in the Champions League places. They went 1-0 up very, very early on. Ollie Watkins touching the ball home inside four minutes after great work down the right-hand side of the box. And then Douglas Luiz at the double. That's three goals in two games for the Brazilian midfielder. First of all, sweeping the ball home after being well found by Jacob Ramsey inside the box. After once again, good work down the right-hand side of the penalty area. And then after a corner routine wasn't properly cleared by Forrest, John McGinn with a beautiful ball in from the right-hand side, aching to be headed home. And that's exactly what Douglas Luiz did. But then the Akate spoilt the party a little bit and gives Nuno Espirito Santo something to hold on to whether he still makes wholesale changes and makes Forrest a different proposition in the second half remains to be seen but Villa holds sway at the break it is at half time Aston Villa 3 Nottingham Forest 1 thank you John experts was he talking about us? I think he was crikey alright uh, Forrest are making three changes but before that there's a change being made by Villa and I would hope for Unai Emery's sake this is not a forced change but Pat Torres has gone off and Callum Chambers has gone on to replace him he must be the last bit centre half left at Villa Park three changes for Nottingham Forest Murillo unsurprisingly is one of those being taken off the three players coming on are Harry Topolo, Divock Origi and Andrew Omabamidele so the poor old fourth official Darren Bond he's been worked overtime with the uh, with the board also coming off is Felipe so two of the players booked have been taken off just looking to see who the third player is that's gone off oh and he's gone off and he, he went off as well against West Ham yeah. early-ish I think they are just managing him oh, yeah, they're wrapping him in cotton yeah. wool to make sure he can navigate his way through the season so and one new Felipe Murillo off Toffolo, Origi and Omar Bamadeli on for Nottingham Forest. Well, I was, I was two out of three, wasn't I? Yeah. In terms of what I thought could happen, and he felt exactly the same. It, you know, you could tell by that performance that the two centre backs needed to come off. Well, it would appear now that Forest are playing a, a straight flat back four with Williams, Omar Bamidelli, Niakate, and Toffolo, then Dominguez and Danilo in midfield, Callum Hudson Odoi. Morgan gives away Anthony Alanga and Divock Origi now up top for Forest Villa had to make that change so it's now Martinez in goal Cash Longley Chambers and Moreno McGinn Louise Bailey Tienemans Ramsey and Watkins so Forest in their change strip of white with the light blue curly stripes are attacking the whole ten to our right in this second half and Nico Williams immediately making tracks down that right hand side caught by Ramsey although he won the ball fairly Jacob Ramsey and Chambers first involvement is to thump the ball downfield Watkins brings the ball down on his chest and it's great skill from Yuri Tillemans to keep the ball away from two or three Forest challenges and guide it back to Jacob Ramsey so 3-1 if you're just tuning in remember at the start of this second half Villa 3 it up right until the last knockings of the first half when Nia Carte's close range chest finish gave Forest just a semblance of hope and they've made that three changes and I hope Dean Ashton's doing his lottery numbers later. <laughs> and got all three numbers pretty much spot on. Harrogate nil, Warsaw one in League Two. Warsaw back-to-back -back wins under Matt Sadler and the Sadlers lead through Liam Gordon early in the second half up there in North Yorkshire. Ross County two, Livingston one. Bruce Anderson, Anderson gets the ball back for Livy. Hickam Villa attacking the North Stand in their claret and blue shirts away to our left in this second half but they've been dispossessed and Ilanga just trying to drift away from Douglas Luiz and get his afterburners on down the inside right channel for Nottingham Forest goes to ground under minimal pressure from Alex Moreno Origi lovely ball into the box and Gibbs White lobs it over the keeper and makes it 3-2 what a start to the second half Nottingham Forest have bookended the end of the first half and the start of the second with goals and it's their captain that's got it 
Origi with a lovely slide rule pass and it appears that Morgan Gibbs-White has been the offside trap unmarked and just dinked it over Martinez to make it Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest 2. Well, I tell you what, the finish is absolutely delightful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. He just gets himself in behind. It's Chambers who's just come on that maybe isn't quite up to speed with that tight defensive line that Aston Villa have. And it's Origi who just slips it through the legs of Longley. And the finish, as Martinez comes and spreads himself out, Gibbs White just lifts it delicately over the top of him. It's just brilliant from Gibbs White. It's only his third goal of the season. That was taken with the class of a player who scored 30 goals this season. I know, I know. Just shows his inner confidence and self-belief, doesn't it, Gibbs White? It's the first time, though, as well. Yeah. He's actually run out of, that, out, out of that 10 position in, into the striking position. Which you were talking about pretty much all the way yeah, through the because of that, Because of that defensive line, it's the way to crack the code of a high line is the deeper run. So 3-2. He still could be on for 5-5, five, five, like I saw in the other year. So Forrest have changed their system and have changed their fortunes. Just a goal behind now. Origi, again looking for Alanga, who's got him behind, drags his shot wide. What an opportunity to make it 3-3. And Villa fans telling their players to wake up because Origi, again, setting up play, just lofted the ball down the inside right channel. Elanga onto it in a flash, but really wasn't in control of the shot and dragged it wide. No, well, Origi able just to turn, get his head up, and it's Alanga actually who's playing as the nine, rather than Origi. Origi's playing out on the right, and he does just dink it over the top. It's a well-timed run from Alanga. It's a really poor finish. He goes with the side foot, and I think this needs to be the laces, because it's straight on. Get the laces through that towards the goal. Instead, he goes with the side foot, and ends up curling away from the far post. Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest 2 on TalkSport 2. Who'd have thought it? Jeopardy in this game when Villa were so comfortable. And Unai Emery just urging calm on this near touchline as Chambers brings the ball forward up to halfway. Good ball. Finds Tielemans. Trying to throw it through for Watkins. Trying to get in between two centre-halves. But that's good defending by Nia Karte. Now playing at centre-half in a four. But then Nico Williams trying to release Origi down the right hand side, gets his angles wrong and it's out of play for a Villa throw. But what a change in the atmosphere around this stadium, Dean Ashby. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uda Emery just trying to calm everybody down after Nottingham Forest start. Douglas Louise on a hat-trick, may I remind you. Caught by Origi in the centre circle, free kick to Aston Villa. Five minutes gone in the second half, 3-2 Villa. Aston Villa... 3-2 up then, Oldham 1, Kidderminster 1 in the National League, Rangers 4-0 up on Hearts, and consolidating their top spot. Put themselves above Celtic, Bristol Rovers 2, Carlisle United 1, the Evergreen Scott Sinclair scores the second for Bristol Rovers. And Morecambe 1, Grimsby 1, Morecambe equalised through Jordan Slew. So Villa in possession, just shy of the halfway line with Chambers, into... Douglas Louise in the centre circle. He sensed that Danilo was coming behind him, just trying to put him under pressure. So he turned, worked it out to the Villa left hand side of Moreno. And back it goes to Longley, who's playing on the left hand side of the back four now. He was on the right hand side, but since Pat Torres has gone off, Chambers is playing the right hand side centre half. Well, Nottingham Forest have made three changes. Yeah, it's the one change of Villa that looks to have made the biggest difference in the game. I wonder how many times Chambers and Longley have actually even played together. That's a good question. Here is Longley, former Barcelona man, leading it for Alex Moreno. Bricks gets up to the halfway line, but there's a spring in Forest player's step now. And Origi is playing almost as an inside right. He's not playing as a centre forward. Alanga seems to be the furthest player forward most of the time for Nottingham Forest, whether in possession or out of it. Origi has already had quite an effect on this second half since coming on at the break. Meantime, Leon Bailey trying to do something about it for Aston Villa. Down the right-hand side, level with the area. Comes in from the side away from Toffolo. Sends it across to the left-hand side of the box and it will be picked up by Moreno. Gets away from Williams, pulls it back to the edge of the area. Tielemans off the post with a left-footed strike along the deck. So nearly 4-2. Tielemans unlucky. 
hit the base of the post and came back into play and Forest cleared their lines. Well, how good have they been when they get into these positions, Aston Villa? Moreno doesn't even look. He just knows to feed it in towards just in between the penalty spot on the 18-yard the line. And there was Tielemans just carefully skims it along the floor with the inside of his left foot and it hits the base of the post. Realistically, he should be scoring, though, because he can see it all the way and he's maybe just tried to be too accurate in that far corner. Eight minutes gone, second half. Ian Dancer and Dean Ashton with you on TalkSport 2. Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest 2. Blackburn equalised against Norwich in the Championship. That's 1-1 one, one at Ewood Park, Dominic Hyam. Watford are taking the lead against Huddersfield. Emmanuel Dennis on loan from Nottingham Forest, who we're watching here today at Villa Park. Oxford United 1, Leighton Orient 1. Villa give the ball away again. Gibbs White releases Origi down the right-hand side of the area. Across the face of goal, it's touched away only as far as Danilo. He goes for a left-footed curler, and we could see right behind it that it was never going to trouble the postage stamp. And it's gone behind for a Villa goal kick. 3-2. Yeah, it feels a waste, that, really, from Danilo. Another good break. Origi has been brilliant since coming on. Ball fell to Danilo on the edge of the box. It was so obvious. He couldn't have made it any more obvious that that was what he was going to do because McGinn had covered the near post. It was obvious he was going to try and curl it to the far post. Martinez was there ready. He made a right mess of it anyway, so just give it to one of the players that might score. Went for glory, Danilo. Balls up to halfway. Watkins heads it down with a nice, nice cushion header. But then Origi shows great strength just to wrestle the ball away from Douglas Louise. And he's quite a specimen, don't forget, Thibaut Origi, the Belgian. And he's causing a real nuisance down the forest right after coming on as a half-time substitute. Now, little through ball from hudson Adoy looking for Origi but the offside flag will go up against Origi this time scored in the Champions League final let's not forget yeah but already we've seen and I think probably something Nuno has spoken about that ball needs to be played sooner that's when Aston Villa are vulnerable is when they've got that high line before they drop deep mm -hmm. is playing that pass early getting the runners you've got you've got all the makings of a team that should cause Aston Villa problems with that pace up the top end of the pitch so use it that's the voice of Dean Ashton former Norwich West Ham and England striker alongside the Ian Panzer here at Villa Park where it's Villa 3 Forest 2 on TalkSport 2 Late Orient equaliser Oxford United 1-1 Oli O'Neill for the O's and Gillingham lead Wrexham by a goal to nil Timothy Dieng at the priest field balls out of play for a Forest throw and again you can just hear that ripple of discontent around the stadium only a goal in this game when as we moved into added time at the end of the first half there were three goals in it here's Nico Williams for Forrest just over the halfway line leaves it for Origi Williams has gone again down this near side of the right gets away from Moreno tried to shoulder barge and then tries to bring him down Williams into the near post and it's put behind for a corner kick or well, Nico Williams thinks he should have had a free kick and Nuno's appealing to the fourth official I think the offence took place outside the area, Dean Ashton. What did you make of that? I, I don't think it was a penalty, that's for sure. I just think that he's obviously tried to... Oh, it's a rugby it. tackle. He's outside the area, but he's trying to get his two hands, hands on him. Bold of his he it. thinks it's Six Nations. Exactly, yeah. But he just committed himself, Moreno, to the shoulder barge on the edge of the area. And actually, Nico Williams ducked underneath the shoulder barge and just managed to wriggle away. In the end, it's a corner at the Holt end for Nottingham Forest to be taken by Morgan Gibbs-White where it meets the Trinity Road stand so a right-footed outswinger to come from the Forest captain raises his left arm again it's deep to the far post Origi heads it down and hits the back of a Villa player and Leon Bailey brings it clear Watkins is up in support bursting over the halfway line Bailey looks for him as he hit the crossfield pass Dominguez got a foot in and then a foul by Dominguez gives Villa a free kick just inside the Forest half of the field. Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest 2. This one's warming up nicely with 12 gone in the second half. Oh, it is. But it's just given the Forest players that extra energy, hasn't it? That extra yard of pace all of a sudden. Whereas before that goal before half-time, they look completely beaten. I mean, that's why we love the Premier League, isn't it? It's just... Ridiculous. Two right and all. Uh, Luca Dini going to be on in a minute for Aston Villa. We'll see who that, that may well be for Moreno. Maybe a straight swap. 
there were mumblings on certain fan sites in the week that Moreno's place was somewhat under threat from Dinia. We're listening to Aston Villa 3, Nottingham Forest 2 on TalkSport 2 with Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Whatever the mission, home or away, Enterprise helps over 120,000 people every day. That's three times as many people as there are inside Villa Park here this afternoon. With Villa 3-2 up, Louise scrapping for possession with Dominguez on this near side. But Dominguez got a foot in, Origi can't keep it in play on this near side. It's been given as a Villa throw, here comes the change. And Luca Dina is ready to enter the fray, and it is indeed a straight swap at left back, as you might have expected. Dean Ashton Moreno comes off, having just received a yellow card for that attempted rookie tackle just outside the area on Williams. Yeah, that could be possibly his last start for a while, Moreno, with Dina back fit. I just wonder whether he will be first choice now for Unai Emery. You would expect so joined a couple of years ago hasn't scored this season edging towards 50 caps for France Luca Digne. so it's a straight swap and another change in Villa's back line Chambers remember came on at half time for Pau Torres we don't know what the situation is there with Torres but with all the centre halves unavailable to Unai Emery at the moment that's a problem he could well do without Villa in possession with Longley up to Jacob Ramsey on halfway, shields the ball from Danilo. Dini gets involved for the first time this afternoon. And it goes back to Emiliano Martinez. Kilman at two, Aberdeen nil in the Scottish Premiership. Still no league win yet for Neil Warnock since going in at Patodra. Bit of space for Douglas Luiz for Villa inside his own half. Plays it left to Dini up to the halfway line. Ramsey comes short and has to move back. There's none of the goals incidentally in the other three o'clock Premier League games. That's Brighton Everton, Crystal Palace against 10 man Burnley, or Manchester United against Fulham. With a goal picks here this afternoon on Talk Sport 2. And looking for more, Villa coming forward and Ramsey wanted a corner but the ball just drifted the wrong side of the corner flag but it is a throw in a dangerous position for Aston Villa as they attack the north stand end away to our left in this second half. And it's thrown in by Dean to Ramsey, gives it back to the left back. Douglas Luiz in support. QPR equalised against Rotherham at Loftus Road. Paul Smith making it 1 1 in West London. Back it goes to halfway, and Villa will build with Callum Chambers right on the halfway line. Moves into the forest half, works it right to Cash. Cash will find Bailey out on the right hand side, tries to play a 1 2 with Tielemans, but they've got that wrong between them and Forrest have it back and it's guided back to uh, Omabami Dele gives it away Tielemans in for Watkins inside the area out comes the keeper and it deflects into the path of Leon Bailey and Villa are two goals back in front and looking to consolidate their top four spot they've scored four at Villa Park Omabami Dele with a poor pass given away Tielemans onto it in a flash tried to feed Watkins as the keeper came out it ricocheted off Matt Sells and into the path of Leon Bailey right in front of goal who strokes it home to make it Aston Villa 4 Nottingham Forest 2 and again it's woeful woeful defending what a poor decision from Oma Baradelli to play in towards Danilo and of course one of the Aston Villa midfielders is right there to press it was Tielemans this time he just then has to feed it into Watkins who's already making the run as he was closing down Omar Bambadeli he's stronger than Omar Bambadeli and then he just goes in for a sliding challenge looking to try and lift it over Sells it gets a nick off the goalkeeper's arm and there as every good attacker should be following in for an easy tap in for Leon Bailey eight goals in the Premier League this season for Leon Bailey so a goal's just gone in here, and a Premier League goal has just gone in at Old Trafford. Manchester United nil, Fulham one. Calvin Bassey up from the back to give Fulham the lead. So 4-2 to Aston Villa, and a few fans around us here in this Trinity Road stand breathing a little easier, Dean Ashton. Oh, well, definitely. Been a really poor start to the half for Aston Villa. I mean you still felt as if they were going to be a threat Aston Villa because of how well they'd played going forwards but just a little bit of an uneasy feeling around the place 
ball over the top from Danilo getting Williams in behind for Forrest down the right hand side pulls it back to the edge of the area and an absolute slip and a miss from Callum hudson Adoy. I think the ball hit his standing foot as he slipped and tried to smack it goalwards from just inside the area it's a goal kick to Aston Villa and they lead by four goals to it's, two it's a big big chance for Callum hudson Adoy. once again it's just a ball over the top a Langer timing his run that didn't happen in the first half that just didn't happen the ball over the top long lay and Pau Torres were brilliant at it and all of a sudden there's the gaps they're not tight in terms of their line when they're holding when Nottingham Forest have got the ball the ball over the top for Alanga eventually finding Nico Williams who just cuts it back for Hudson and Doyle he's there to be hit and he slips at the wrong moment where's his studs when he's got the moulds on ball in field and it's hooked away for Villa by Douglas Louise up to halfway Topolo heads it down Tielemans trying to prop it from it and he's being hauled down by Topolo that's a free kick to Aston Villa taken quickly to try and release Bailey down the right hand side Nia Carty goes out to engage him Bailey level with the edge of the area for Villa comes in field thinks about giving it to Tielemans Tielemans gives it back to Bailey who's going to ground wants a free kick nothing doing says Sam Barrett the referee Mansfield 3 Salford 1 Davis Keeler Dunn with his 17th of the season and Bolton down to 10 minute Blackpool they're 2-1 down as well Bolton and Ricardo Santos has been red carded at Bloomfield Road now Leon Bailey stayed down after going down off the ball and it's only now that the referee Sam Barrett is going to allow the physios to come on and treat him but now he's got back to his feet because he doesn't want the treatment because he knows he'd have to stay off for an extra 30 seconds yeah just just a clash with him and Nia Carte as he's played it around the corner he's gone to get it the other side Nia Carte just stood his ground and he's run into it interesting that isn't it all of a sudden he jumps up when the referee says he might have to go off well that's the rule now isn't it if you are treated by the physios you then have to wait 30 seconds once you're off the field before you can be reintroduced obviously that Bolton sending off has led to a Blackpool penalty it's been scored by Jake Beasley Blackpool 3 Bolton 1 and St Mirren 2 St Johnston 0 in the Battle of the Saints in the Scottish Premiership 4-2 here to Aston Villa and we've got 25 minutes to go on TalkSport 2 don't forget coming up tonight Arsenal against Newcastle live on TalkSport 8 o'clock kickoff from Emirates Stadium after the full time phone in with Jamie and Gabby Forrest coming forward Nico Williams down the right hand side shows too much of that to Dinya who got his foot in and he was helped out by Jacob Ramsey and it ends up being a Villa throw and the Villa fans love it that they stopped another Forest counter attack and the Forest bench is up on mass and they can't do that anymore the Forest bench can't do that you can't get up on mass to talk to a fourth official eventually they all go and sit back down as Villa only get the ball half clear Hudson Adoy sends the ball in field but it's only found the left boot of Luca Dina. now out to this near side and Jacob Ramsey Crystal Palace 1 Burnley 0 Palace hit the front against 10 man Burnley through Chris Richards in Oliver Glasner's first game in charge of the Eagles Solihull 2 Hartlepool 0 in the National League and Chesterfield the runaway leaders of the National League 2-0 upon Rochdale Will Grigg with another goal for the Spyrites here at Villa Park approaching the midway point of the second half Villa in command with a two goal cushion 4-2 they lead Rangers 5-0 upon Hearts now here come Villa down the left hand side the near side to us as they attack the north stand it's Luca Dini midway point of the half plays it in field to Ramsey laid off to Douglas Louise can't ride the challenge of Danilo He's bringing it clear, Origi just inside him, and he flicks it inside to Origi. He quickly looks left to pick out Callum hudson Adoy. hudson adoy has got Topolo moving on his outside, but hudson Adoy moves in field, goes for goal, good claim, right in front of goal by Martinez. It was a fair hit from Callum hudson Adoy, but Emiliano Martinez was equal to it. Stays 4-2 Villa. Yeah, and it feels like there's still goals for Nottingham Forest. They look a real threat on the break. Again this time, Origi firing over to hudson Adoy, he uses the overlap of Toffolo to cut inside onto his right foot steadies himself really good strike just shame it was too close to martinez who claimed and held on to it you're listening to aston villa for nottingham forest two on talk two with now 
Don't forget that with now you can stream all the Sky Sports action like Bournemouth versus Manchester City live today. Contract free with the now membership. Search now sports for all the details. Crawley lead Accrington in lead two. That's Harry Ransom. And Huddersfield have equalised at Watford in the Championship. Danny Ward making it 1-1 at Vicarage Road. Then we get the FA Cup. Fifth round ties start on Monday night. Coventry against National League South Maidstone United. George Ellicobi. Can he work the Oracle yet again against the Championship side? And Coventry lost 3-0 at home to Preston last night in the Championship. That's live on Monday night on Talk Sport 2. And then Tuesday night, well, we've got so much live football for you on on Tuesday, three live games, England against Italy in a women's friendly on TalkSport 2, followed by Blackburn against Newcastle in the FA Cup on TalkSport at 8 o'clock, and all Premier League affair, Luton against Manchester City. Villa, coming forward through the centre circle with McGinn, looking right and left for the option, goes immediate left for Jacob Ramsey, Dina picks it up now, level with the edge of the area, gives it back to Jacob Ramsey. Palace 2-0 up on Burnley now, Jordan Ayew, Gets Palace's second. Three points would appear in Oliver Glasner's first game in charge. Dini with a cross for Villa. Half headed cleared by Onabamidele and then Hudson Adore tried to steer it up to Alanga on halfway. But it was very comfortably won back for Villa. Ryan Yates will be on shortly for Nottingham Forest. Here's Douglas Louise. Spots Dini in a bit of space on this near side of the left. Approaching the left hand corner of the penalty area, into the feet of Jacob Ramsey, running away from the box, has to give it back to Dinya. Forrest have got most people back behind the ball, save for Ilanga, and Villa again will elect to go back to halfway and build again, first with Chambers, then Cash. And this, this is what they should be doing, they should be patient, you know, you've got that two goal lead, you don't want nothing in Forrest to have the ball and gain confidence with their attack, so... Just keep the ball, keep probing, waiting for the opportunities now. In you again, down this near side of Villa left as they attack the North Stand in this second half. 4 2 up, Long Lake. Just over 20 minutes to go on Talk Sport 2. Then we get the game day phone in with Jamie O'Hara and Gabby Agbon Lahore from 5 30 on Talk Sport before that exclusive commentary of Arsenal Newcastle at 8. Leon Bailey, who scored the fourth for Villa. Cheeking down the right-hand side of the penalty area. We're going to get away from his man. Pulled it back to just outside the box. Douglas Louise thought about a shot, steered it out left for Dinho, tried to give it back to Tielemans just inside the box, but it was half cleared. Comes out to McGinn in the centre of the Forest half. Up to the edge of the area. Laid off by Ramsey to Douglas Louise. Goes down at the edge of the D. Tripped by Dominguez. Free kick to Aston Villa. Aston Villa, what they're really, really good at as well is when that ball is wide or that the byline is cut back and then it's cleared. They're so good at gaining that first ball that's played out of the box. They ring fence that little area just outside the 18 yard box. They win it back. Douglas Lewis there getting it off McGinn who just stepped in front of, an, of a Nottingham Forest player and then he just drove into a little gap and almost produced the contact because of the drive that he made. Brighton nil, Everton won. Jared Branthwaite up from the back to put Everton ahead at the Annex in the Premier League. So, goals in all the Premier League games now, including this one where we've had six. And Douglas Louise on a hat-trick, is standing over this free kick from about 25 yards out. Perfect for a right-footed effort, Dean Ashton, just to the left of centre. Oh, it is, which is why Dean will probably take it. But <laughs> you, you, you think on a, on a hat-trick, you think Douglas Louise would be saying, no, no, well, I've seen this Dina, is me. I've seen Dean score brilliant free kicks. Scored one up at Lincoln for Everton in the cup tie. That was an absolute beauty. There is a draft excluded for Forest behind the four-man wall. It's Daniel O's got that luckless job of having to lie on his side. Ryan Yates still waiting to come on as a Nottingham Forest substitute. And now we're ready for the free kick. Douglas Louise standing right on top of the ball. Dinya just a pace away from it. Sells checking that his wall's in the right place. Referee blows his whistle. And it's Douglas Lewis taking a very purposeful two or three steps back from the ball. There's a three-man Villa wall in front of the forest wall. Dinia takes it and it goes into the forest wall and out of play for a throw-in. It's currently Villa 4, Forest 2 as Yates comes on to replace Dominguez. For the latest odds, head to William Hill, the official betting partner of TalkSport 2's Premier League coverage 
where right now you can get Villa to win at 23 to 20, Forest to win at 5 to 2. No more goals to be scored. That's priced at 17 to 10. That's all thanks to William Hill. Get epic value all season with William Hill. 18 plus. BeGambleAware.org. Well, I did say it would be Dina because it, it did seem a bit. You know, it seems so obvious for Douglas Louise the way it was all set up, as if you were trying to then make sure that Sells didn't expect it. Ball's back on halfway. Villa have it again. 17 minutes to go on Talksport 2. They lead Nottingham Forest by four goals to two. Yates then on in central midfield for Dominguez. Longley just being held up by Origi, so he moves infield and finds McGinn in the centre circle for Villa. Cash strokes it out to Bailey, quite deep. That's towards the halfway line on the far right-hand side, and then Cash goes all the way back to Martinez. Cricket's back tomorrow morning from 3.30 in the morning. John Norman, Andrew McKenna and our three brilliant fast bowlers as co-commentators. Steve Harmison, Darren Goff and Alex Tudor for day three of the fourth test with England in a commanding position. Over 100 runs in front and India only have three first innings wickets left. So join our team from 3.30 in the morning exclusive ball by ball commentary with no adverts during the play that's from four o'clock when the first ball is bowled QPR 2-1 up against Rotherham now Chris Willock and Forrest have a free kick just ahead of the centre circle inside the Villa half and once again they've got to find a way back into this match Dean Ashton yeah and, and what have they got left what have they got that they can try and produce can they just get that next goal to make things very nervy inside Villa Park. Well, Unai Emery looks nervy. He's pointing at Jacob Ramsey to keep more of a weather eye on what's going on right behind him at the right-hand corner of the penalty area. And there's a load of pushing and shoving. Nia Carte is in there. So too is Dean and McGinn. And also on the Bamidele. And they're all being reminded of their responsibilities by referee Sam Barrett. Yeah, just get the slacks on and have a good wrestle instead. <laughs> just wait till after. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it, what we do as players when you're grappling and the ball's nowhere near going to be kicked. In it comes from hudson Adoy. Brian Yates right in front of goal, volleys it wastefully wide. But he made a straight run through the middle. Ryan Yates, just on as a substitute, found perfectly by the floated pass from Callum hudson Adoy. Went with his weak left foot and steered it well, well wide. That's a let off for Villa, 4-2. Oh, it is. I mean, it's just, like you said, a simple run straight through the middle of Aston Villa's defence it was a brilliant clip ball from Gibbs White centrally just lofted it over the top it's coming over his left shoulder Ryan Yates and he couldn't have got this more wrong the timing it's like his left leg had gone way past the ball before it was even near him so then the proper outside of his foot is the one that connects with it it spoons and spins horribly wide it's a brilliant chance but it stays Aston Villa 4 Nottingham Forest 2 with just over a well, it is now a quarter of an hour to play here at Villa Park. Crystal Palace 3, Burnley 0. A penalty scored by Jean-Philippe Mateta. Big day for Oliver Glasner then. Three points in his first game in charge of the Eagles. And Sunderland get a goal back against Swansea. Sunderland 1, Swansea 2, Luco 9 with a goal back for the Black Cats. Here at Villa Park, balls back with Callum Chambers. To his right is Matty Cash, midway point of his own half, gives it back to Chambers. Elanga closing down the space, so Chambers fires it back to his keeper, Emiliano Martinez. And now played up to Jacob Ramsey, midway point of his own half, being tracked by Danilo. Dinia lofts it down the right-hand side, but one back by Forrest. Nico Williams coming in field, lays it off to Yates. Yates spots a run down the left-hand side by Callum hudson Adoy. Immediately closed down by Cash, but he's kept possession, hudson Adoy and lays it off to Yates, who strokes it out to Toffolo on the left-hand side for the visitors. Back to Yates, but a poor touch from him. And it was won back just for a second by Yuri Tielemans, but Nia Karte got there in front of him, and then Tielemans can't quite win the ball back. It's gone up for a throw to Forest, but good industry from the Belgian Yuri Tielemans, 4-2 Villa. Yeah, it was, but again, Nia Karte looks comfortable more at centre-back than he did at left-back. Toffolo's helped, I think, actually, Callum hudson Adoy because he's been overlapping on the winning back. Watkins looking to release Jacob Ramsey. Up to the edge of the area, he's got Danilo backpedalling. Brilliant challenge. Great foot in from Nico Williams to win it back. 
for Nottingham Forest. 13 minutes to go. 4-2 Villa. Danilo striding up to the halfway line, evading the attentions of Watkins and Douglas Luiz for the moment. Still has it Danilo, twisting and turning and keeping possession and then sliding it down the right-hand side of the box, asking Alanga to give chase. But he won't get there, but Chambers can't keep it from going out for a throw-in. 4-2 Villa. I mean, that's brilliant. Industry from Danilo to not give that up and keep just rolling his foot over it just as an Aston Villa player was trying to take it off him and then slid it down the side for Elanga well they've had the chances haven't they especially in this second half now Nottingham Forest they've got to take confidence from that to think that they can still get another chance as we come towards the end of the game Hibs 1 Dundee 1 in the Scottish Premiership and Crew 3 upon Notts County in League 2 Josh Osterfield long throw from near Carty for Forest into the Villa box headed up in the air by Yates but he didn't really know where it had gone and it's hooked downfield, and away come Aston Villa on the counter-attack, Ramsey. But now there's white forest shirts flooding back into position. Ramsey holds it up. Billy Gilmore's been sent off for Brighton and Hove Albion at home to Everton. Remember, Everton already 1-0 up, so Brighton a goal down and now a man down. With the young Scott giving his marching orders. Ball's back on halfway and floated by Cash down the right side of the box for Bailey. Gets to the byline, comes back in field, finds Jacob Ramsey. Oh, brilliant challenge again by Nico Williams to stop it going goalwards. But Ramsey has it once more, lays it back to the edge of the box and Cash skies a shot against his old club way over the crossbar into the top tier of the north stand. And it's a goal kick to Nottingham Forest. 4-2 Villa. Yeah, so easy for Leon Bailey just went as if he wanted it short sprinting behind Toffolo and then when he got into a position Neil Carty did well just to stand him up made sure he couldn't come onto his left foot to take a shot so he then found Jacob Ramsey eventually being here back to Ramsey in towards Matty Cash and he just stumbled as he's about to take the shot he took a little stumble was off balance and it was horribly up and over the top Douglas Louise wins it back for Villa just over 10 minutes to go on Talk Sport 2. McGinn spins away from Gibbs White in the centre circle. Gives it to Longley. A little short pass over the halfway line. Picks out Douglas Louise. Watford 1, Huddersfield 2. Danny Ward with his second goal of the game for Huddersfield. They turned it around at Vicarage Road. Watford only got their first win in eight last time out against Rotherham. Oxford 1, Leighton Orient 2. George Moncur for the O's. That could be a big win. That's sixth against ninth in League One today. Don't forget TalkSport Superstar Breakfast back Monday and Tuesday morning with Jeff Stelling and Ali McCoist. And former Sheffield United manager Paul Heckingbottom will join Jeff and Ali on Tuesday morning during the course of the breakfast show. A couple of changes being made. And Gio Reyna is coming on for Nottingham Forest on loan from uh, Borussia Dortmund yet to start a game for Morris American international and Yuri Tielemans is getting a very warm ovation from all around Villa Park as he comes off so now Nicolo Zaniolo on loan from Galatasaray to come on to replace him yeah he's had a very good game Tielemans has played that role very very well that kind of ghost position in behind Watkins neither as a 10 or a wide player just in between allowing Watkins to run and Bailey free kick to Aston Villa to be taken by Luca Dini just over the halfway line right next to where his managers pointing and gesticulating and generally not standing still for a moment we need to find out who moves more between him and Roberto Di Zerbi that's a close run thing bit of a hush descends over Villa Park for the first time in quite a while actually and so much action in this match Blackpool 4 Bolton 1 Jordan Gabriel once of Nottingham Forest he has Blackpool's 4th Warsaw 2-0 up at Harrogate Mo Fahl on loan from West Brom gets Warsaw's 2nd and it's 4-2 here to Aston Villa with 8 minutes of normal time to play McGinn lets the ball run across his body in the centre circle keeps it away from Ilanga plays it to his right for Cash Cash lays it off to Bailey, down the right-hand side, gives it back to Cash in field, but he can't advance further into the forest half. He's forced to go back into the other half of the field. 
to find first of all Chambers and then Longley. Neat pass for McGinn, driving from the centre circle. He bays the challenge and works it to the left hand side. Here's Dunia swirling across in. Flick to the far post and drop for Leon Bailey. Shot is blocked by Topolo. Comes out to the edge of the box. Poor touch from Hudson Adoy and he pulled back McGinn. That's a free kick to Aston Villa, 35 yards out, dead centre of the half. 4 2 they lead. Yeah, poor foul to give away. Hudson Adoy. McGinn had got away from him, so allow your other defenders to deal with it rather than pulling him back and then giving Aston Villa the opportunity for a free kick, which this time he would expect Douglas Luiz just to have his moment. Ipswich 2, Birmingham 1, Jeremy Sarmiento on loan gets the second goal for the Tractor Boys in that scramble for automatic promotion places in the Championship. So Fulham one up at Man United, Everton one up at Brighton, Palace 3-0 up on Burnley in the Premier League and Villa 4-2 up here against Nottingham Forest and they've got a free kick and I fancy that Douglas Ruiz is going to have a smack at this one. I would expect, well, Bailey's there, so I think if Bailey's telling him where to hit it, I think Douglas Ruiz will have this, of course he will, he's let Dina have one, you would, I can't imagine he's going to let another one go when he's on a hat-trick. Again, Danilo has got that awful job of the draft excluded behind the four-man forest wall and a three-man villa wall in front of the forest wall. Up steps Douglas Louise, right footed, clips off the wall and goes behind for a corner kick to Aston Villa at the north stand in. 4-2, Crystal Palace 3, Burnley 1, ten-man Burnley get a goal back, Daddy Fafana, Notts County get a goal back, they will be in vain at home to Crew, Notts County 1, Crew 3, Jim O'Brien. McGinn gets a warm round of applause from those Villa supporters in the North Stand. He's about to take the corner where the North Stand meets the Doug Ellis, where most of the Forest fans are still hanging around. Not many have made their way back to the cars and coaches. In it comes from McGinn. Lovely delivery. Flicked on by Ono Bamidele and just drifts out of play on this near side for another Villa corner. 4 2 they lead. And Louise. He gets a very warm round of applause as he comes to this near side to take the next one. Yeah, more and more it's feeling as if Aston Villa are in control now of this game. We've had the scary moment at the start of the, the half, but they look very much in control. Ross County 2, Livingston 2, that battle at the bottom of the Premiership. Livingston equalised through Bruce Anderson with his second of the game. In it comes from Douglas Lewis, low and flat to the near post, only half cleared by Nottingham Forest and then Ilanga tries to get his foot on it oh it breaks for Bailey at the edge of the area tries to chip it across it'll break for Watkins fires over from just inside the area got it on his right foot just couldn't keep it down and it's behind for a Forest goal kick as Manchester United equalise against Fulham Harry Maguire makes it 1-1 at Old Trafford 4-2 here to Aston Villa with less than 5 minutes of normal time to go Played down the left-hand side by Topolo. Have Forrest got anything left? They scored that late goal in the first half, but they need two just to earn a point here against Villa, who are going to be sitting pretty in fourth spot. He's not, a, he's not had many looks, is he, though? Molly Watkins. You know, like I said, he does so much work but for the team and for other players also alongside himself. I know he's got his goal. That was the only real other opportunity he's just had there. And he likes those positions where he faces up defenders and he started to use one of the things that I think certainly Jermaine Defoe and Alan Shearer were very good at, which is just to shift the ball and then shoot as the defender goes to try and block, trying to fire it through the defender's legs. Zaniolo wins it off Elanga and Cash will go at it across to Longley. Does Watkins go to the Euros for you, Dean? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I think he's a, a, an outstanding player and fully deserves, I think, to be second behind Harry Kane with the way he's, he's played consistently as well. Mansfield 4, Salford 1. Stags going gold crazy at the one call this afternoon. They did lose at Walsall after three straight wins, but Lucas Aikens gets the fourth for Nigel Clough's side. Free kick to Villa. Heavy touch from Leon Bailey. Almost allowed Rayner to win it back. And Rayner again 
charging in on John McGinn, but McGinn shows great strength, holds him off and finds Douglas Louise who darts over the halfway line, into the feet of Zaniolo, holding it up midway point of the Forest half. That's good industry from Ryan Yates to win it back though, and quick feet from Divock Origi. And Forrest will work it to this near side of the right. And Nico Williams. Elanga wanted a ball over the top down the inside right channel, but not used. That Burley goal incidentally has been chalked off the one that I said for Farmer had scored. VAR say no. Compute says no. And it's still 3 0. Ryan Innes has been sent off for Forest Green Rovers, who are still leading, I think, against Tranmere, but they're down to 10 men. Here is Nico Williams for Nottingham Forest with two minutes of normal time to go. 4-2 down, Forest are looking to try and set up a nervous finish for the hosts. Back it goes to Musa Niakate, who scored their goal right at the end of the first half to make it 3-1 when the players went in at the break. Now Danilo just chips the ball into the area, headed up in the air by Chambers and claimed in his six-yard box very confidently by Emiliano Martinez. Yeah, big head of that actually, Chambers, because I think it was Rayner who was just coming in behind him, looking for the header. Really just stretched every muscle in his neck to make sure he got something on it, and then Martinez was there to claim. And, you know, this would take them five points ahead of Tottenham. Obviously, Tottenham would really have a game in hand, but I think it feels big for Aston Villa. It's just making sure they get another win at home and get that gap. Ticking round towards the last minute of normal time here on Talk Sport 2. Villa 4-2 up, trying to bring the ball down the right-hand side, but Bailey was dispossessed. And away comes Ryan Yates down that far left-hand side. Hudson Adoy wins a throw. I thought he'd lost control for a minute, but I think he did lose control there, Hudson Adoy, but he still managed to get the throw in. And Nia Carte will almost certainly send this one into the Villa penalty area with a long throw. A few Villa players just getting a ripple of applause as they run past us doing uh, a bit of warming up, including uh, Morgan Rogers, who they recently got from Middlesbrough by uh, the Manchester City Academy. In comes the throw from Nia Carte. Flicked on inadvertently in the near post by Zaniolo. He's trying to head that away from goal, not towards it. McGinn heads it out to the edge of the box. Yates tries to turn it across the face of goal, blocked by Cash, and then Bailey just hoofs it, Gary Owen style, up towards the halfway line, and Danilo will guide it back to his keeper, Sells. And it's going to be four minutes of minimum stoppage time that we're into now on TalkSport 2. Four minutes um, thank you, Mr Stadium announcer, for just confirming <laughs> exactly that. It was loud, wasn't it? Back to halfway. And Forrest are running out of time. And in fact, uh, I did mention Morgan Rogers. There he's going to be on in a minute for Aston Villa. Meantime, here's the other number 27, Divock Origi for Forrest coming in field, playing the ball across to the left-hand side of the box. Hudson Odoi can't prevent himself from going over the dead ball line, even though he did keep the ball in play. And cleared out for a Villa throw. And Musa Diaby is going to come on as well for Aston Villa. So a late double change. Diaby and Rogers coming on, players coming off, Leon Bailey, who's put in a terrific shift and scored this afternoon, Dean Ashton, for Aston Villa, he's going off on that far side of the field, yeah, he's been unbelievable, especially at home, Leon Bailey, and another goal scoring goes off, in Ollie Watkins, Lee Bailey's gone round the far side of the pitch to uh, take the applause behind the goal, away to our right hand side of the whole end Watkins making a beeline straight for this near touch line and Morgan Rogers gets a look in for Aston Villa after his recent arrival from Teesside and he's going to have about two three minutes maybe to show what he can do yeah I think a lot of subs would say it's just annoying to have to get your trackies off and you Put your shirt on and he's still got to do his run at the end of the game, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Shuttle runs when, have have to. when the stadium's empty. Yeah. Port Vale nil, Lincoln City two. Rico Hackett Fairchild seals the points at Vale Park for the Imps. Villa four, Forest two. Forest in possession with Danilo on this near side, almost at the midway point of the Villa half. Has to sweep the ball back into the centre circle to find Near Carte. To his right is Omar Bamidele. 
Now to his left hand side is Ryan Yates and Bailey again getting a, a round of applause from the supporters in the Trinity Road. Brighton equalised against Everton. Lewis Dunk, the one club man, makes it 1-1. Brighton are down to 10 men, remember, in that game. But Lewis Dunk appears to have equalised. 4-2 here. Forrest in possession with Gio Reyna. Plays the ball in field to Danilo. Got a bit of space, centre of the half. Just chips the ball into the area, headed across the face of goal. Down goes the attacker Hudson Odoi. Nothing doing, says the referee. And away comes Morgan Rogers. Fulham are back in front through Alex Iwobi at Old Trafford. And here come Villa down the right hand side. It's pulled into the box. And Yellow takes the touch, lays it off to Rogers. Saved by Sells with his feet. And it'll drift out of play for a corner kick right at the death for Aston Villa. Oh, what a chance that is for Morgan Rogers to get his first Aston Villa goal. Really good break down the right-hand side. Diaby bursting in towards the penalty area. Cutting it back for Zaniolo, who's again really unselfish. He could have swiveled and had a shot. He played it back to Morgan Rogers. I don't think he was quite ready for it because he ends up just looking like it surprises him in the way that he finishes it. He's not in control of the side foot and in the end, pretty easy block. Points to save for Ipswich, 3-1 up on Birmingham City now, Amari Hutchinson gets another goal. Been a very good goal scoring spell for him. Short corner for Villa on this near side and McGinn hits it against the Langer. And it'll be a throw in on this near side. So we are very nearly four minutes up and then it'll be down to Sam Barrett to decide how much more we play. Throw in for Zaniello, who can't keep the ball in play, it's going to be a goal kick to Nottingham Forest as Holt enters in the sky rings around Villa Park very happy home support who put that recent dodgy run of results here in League and Cup behind them in some style this afternoon not without its nervy moments and Forest had this goal kick and that may well signal the last blast of the whistle indeed there goes the full time whistle and Aston Villa take the acclaim and they take a five point lead over Tottenham Hotspur in that fourth place in the Premier League with a 4-2 win over Nottingham Forest Ollie Watkins a brace from Douglas Louise and Leon Bailey with the Villa goals Unai Emery punches the air and applauds the fans in front of us as he makes his way to the tunnel a very happy man after some strange and poor results here of late for Aston Villa they put that right here this afternoon Forrest had them worried though either side of half time when Moussa Carte made it 3-1 and Morgan gives White straight after the break made it 3-2 but Villa were not to be denied and it is that five point gap that they now hold over Tottenham in fourth place in the Premier League all smiles around Villa Park but Forrest hovering just above the drop zone and who knows what might befall them both on the pitch and off the pitch in the next few weeks in terms of the points they'll have going into the running. Full time at Villa Park, Aston Villa 4, Nottingham Forest 2.